As we approach winter, we'll experience many more mornings with cold temperatures, but when there's a wind, it feels even colder. Meteorologist Brittany Van Voorhees explains in this week's Weather IQ. Wind chill. It's a term many meteorologists here in the South don't like saying. Wind chill is a mathematical calculation used to describe what the air temperature feels like due to the combination of cold temperatures and wind blowing on exposed skin. The colder the air, the higher the wind, the colder it'll feel. So even if the air temperature remains the same, it feels colder and colder as the wind speed increases. An example, a temperature of 15 degrees with a 15 mile per hour wind, that's going to have a wind chill of zero degrees. Now the science behind wind chill is this. We as humans naturally emit heat. As the wind blows across our bodies, it takes that heat and blows it away from us. So the faster the wind, faster the heat is taken away. Animals are also impacted by the wind chill, so be sure to take safety precautions for them too. The National Weather Service has an easy to understand wind chill chart to break down how cold it needs to be for health issues to begin. Too much time exposed to substantial wind chill can result in frostbite and even hypothermia. Experts recommend internal layers of loose fitting, lightweight and warm clothing. Outerwear should be woven, water repellent and hooded. Don't forget to wear your hat, cover your mouth and don't forget to keep your hands warm too. For WCNC Charlotte, I'm meteorologist Brittany Van Voorhees. And if you want to keep boosting your weather IQ, we've got you covered. Just take out your phone and scan the QR code. It's going to pop up right there on your screen. It will take you to our weather IQ YouTube page. I don't know about y'all, but I feel smarter. I do too. We just rose our weather IQ. <laughs>